Hi everybody, and welcome to Jewel Family Farm. Today we're going to be making Scotch shortbread. Hope you join us. Okay, let's get started. This recipe is only calls for a few ingredients, and it is a very inexpensive recipe. It is a shortbread. It's not. It's similar to a cookie, but it doesn't have as much sugar in it. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is three cups of flour. I'm going to put my powdered sugar in with my flour. It doesn't call for any baking powder or baking soda. That's called for A little bit of salt. So it's a dash of salt, so I don't know. I don't know how much a dash is, so I'm just going to put about half of a teaspoon. Set it to 75. All right. Then the other thing it calls for is a half a pound of softened butter. So a half a pound would be two sticks. And it's got to be soft. Says to, to uh, work it with your hands, and I've washed my hands, and I've washed the countertop really well, and so I'm just gonna start mashing all this butter in. Trying to get it incorporated into all of the flour that I can. You don't really want your butter melted all the way, but you do want it fairly soft, soft, you know, as you can get it without melting it. So you just will keep working that until you get it all worked in. You want to try to get every piece of flour have some butter on it. So when you roll it out, you know, it'll all be incorporated. Shortbread is just a little crispy biscuit type thing. Not not like a biscuit like you like a like a biscuit cookie, cookie biscuit, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's just a little, sh little um, crispy. You know those tins that you can buy at, at, at the store, those blue ones, it's got the cookies in them, they're, they're blue tins, and they've got those nice crispy cookies in it. It's like that, it's like those kind of cookies. It doesn't call for any wet ingredients other than the butter. All right, and that's about, that's all it calls for. So I've never made these before. We're gonna see how it works. I don't know, it looks to me like it needs a little bit more butter. It's not holding together very good. I don't think these are going to roll out too well. All right. Okay, so I've decided to do this just a little bit different. Um, this is so crumbly, and I don't think there's no way that this is going to roll out into, you know, for to cut cookies out of. So I looked up another recipe, and it says to lay it into a, a dish and bake it. 
and then cut it out. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it in the dish, pat it down, let it bake, and then I'm just gonna cut it into squares. But I'm gonna take a little bit of butter and um, grease the pan. I like to try new recipes, but sometimes they're uh, maybe missed something or didn't explain it quite right, or maybe I didn't follow the directions quite right. You know, it's just a hit and a miss sometimes with these old time recipes. And you have to kind of like redo them a little bit. Like I was going to add some butter, extra butter to it, and then roll it out and bake it, but. I want to stick with this recipe because I just want to see how it turns out. So, as you can see, it's really crumbly. So, I'm just going to put it in here and I'm going to press it down into this dish. And it presses down okay, but there's no way it would have rolled out, I don't think, to cut. I think when you cut the cookies out, it probably would, they were just uh, crumbled. So, we're going to press this down in here. And you have to bake this uh, at 275 for one hour till it's just golden. I want all the cookies to be fairly the same thickness. So you want to spread this out and try to get it all the same, what you consider the same thickness, you know. I have had shortbread before and I really like it. So I really wanted to try this recipe. Just get it, mash it down in there as best that you can. All right, we're gonna cook this for an hour. Let's see what, how it turns out. All right, we'll be back when it's done cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of, while we're waiting on these cookies to, to bake, it takes an hour, so um, I was just gonna sit and uh, talk with y'all for a while. And you know, at Christmas time, um, to me, it's a very special time, and um, it means getting together with family and stuff. Of course, right now, when everybody's having a hard time getting together, because of all the things that's going on right now with COVID and everything, and people are, I think, a little bit sadder this year, maybe because of that, and you can't get together with your family, and so. But you know, this is just a temporary thing, hopefully, and hopefully next year everything will be back to normal. At least that's what my prayer is, and that everybody can get together then. But I know that there's a lot of people that having a hard time this, this year at Christmas and you just have to kind of remember that some of the things that you're sad about are temporary now. I know that some people have lost loved ones and they miss their family that have gone on and uh, but you still have to you know keep going. You still have to try to think of good things and not dwell so much on the things that you know are hurtful or to you. But anyway, one of the things that, that helps me, you know, around this time of year, and of course I love Christmas and I do miss my family. I do miss the ones that I used to have Christmas with and they're not here anymore. It's very, that part's sad. It is sad and um, I miss that. I miss not going to be able to be with my parents. You know, both my parents are still living and and I'm going to miss not really having the whole family together with them. But, you know, it is what it is. And you just have to pick yourself up and, and go on and move on. And and um, it's, just, it's just the way it is. But anyway, one of the things that I do that helps me, and, if you know, if you're a, a baker or you like to cook like I do, um, it always helps to go through old cookbooks and, look for new recipes and try new recipes and that's kind of what I try to do on my channel 
and I try to do it in a way that it's affordable to most everyone. I try to use very limited ingredients and um, I try to make it very simple for people that are just learning how to bake or cook and I'd like to pass that on to people that, you know, would like to know how to do that but are not quite sure where how to do it. So what I try to do on this channel is just keep it simple and keep it affordable and, uh, you know, hopefully pass on some recipe and stuff with people, recipes that you like. But anyway, just I like old cookbooks and I like to pick up especially church cookbooks. I think those have the best recipes in them and the recipes that people have um, used over and over and over so they're pretty much accurate. Now some of these other cookbooks, now of course the ones you buy out of a bookstore or something like that, but have been published, you know, they're, they're pretty accurate too, of course they are, but um, some of the other cookbooks, like the old time era of cookbooks that have been passed along, you know, from way back, a lot of their recipes are not quite accurate. Um, it might be accurate to them, and they might, it might be accurate as far as the way that they do it, but sometimes I think they forget when they're writing the recipe out to, to add a something, you know. Um, like this recipe that I just did with these cookies. Now, we're going to see how they turn out. And I went right by the recipe that was in the book. And they may turn out fine. We'll see when we're finished cooking and baking these. But a lot of times the old recipes, they, they forget to put something in. So you have to improvise a little bit. And I didn't, I was going to add a little bit more butter to this recipe, this shortbread uh, recipe. But I thought, no, I'm just going to do it just bash it down into the pan, you know, and cook it like that. Uh, so we'll see how it turns out, but in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, it needed a little bit more butter, because it only had one cup of butter in it, for three cups of flour, and that's, that seemed quite right to me. But anyway, we'll see how it turns out. But that's what I'm saying, you know, sometimes you do a recipe, and you might need to tweak it a little bit, and um, in hindsight, I probably, uh, should have added that extra little bit of butter, but I was just doing an experiment today. So that's what you have to do. You take these recipes and experiment with them, and if you feel like that something needs to be added or taken away, or, or if you want to change them up, you can do that. Uh, now, sometimes it turns out, sometimes it don't, but uh, it's fun to try, and it's fun to try to make up your own recipes, and once you get to baking or cooking for a little while, You'll figure out things that, that work together and things that don't work together. But it's not really hard to do. And uh, so you just, you know, practice and until you get it right. It's just like anything else in this world. You don't, a lot of times you don't pick up on something the very first time you try it. It takes you a little bit of time and a little bit of practice before you get good at it. And that's the same thing with cooking and baking. It just takes time. And, um, but it is, it is a fun uh, hobby or uh, to, to learn to bake and, and if you, you know, there's a way, it's a way to feed your family uh, cheaper than it is to buy things that go into, like say the microwave or, uh, you know, those things are convenient, but they're not really good for your family to eat, especially small children. And I think a lot, in my opinion, I think a lot of these um, uh, quick meals that you can throw in the microwave or whatever, I I feel like that might be contributing to some of the um, behaviors maybe, I wanna say, for some of the children. I mean, they have a lot of preservatives, a lot of things in it that probably are not meant for the body to consume. And not picking on kids or anything or like that. I don't mean to sound like that. I don't mean to criticize, and I'm not doing that either. I'm just thinking of nutrition that might be a little bit better for, for kids than um, these quick microwave things that have all this stuff in it that you don't even know what is. And in my opinion, it's best to just stick with basic food um, as best that you can. That's just my little talk on food and um, 
Hope that helps somebody. I'm still waiting on the cook. Okay, so here it is out of the oven. He says to cut it while it's still hot. I'm gonna make it in small little squares. Looks to me like a um, a pie crust is what it reminds me of. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of powdered sugar on the top of it, make it look a little bit better. It cuts up nice. Let me get some powdered sugar. it up a little bit. It's not a very pretty cookie or shortbread. That makes it look a little bit better. All right, let me get a little plate. Turn this. Which I knew it was going to be thin. Doesn't look so bad though. Okay, came out better than what I thought it was going to come out. I figured it would crumble all up, but it's not. Well, that's a nice little piece there. some brown on the bottom. what it looks like. It's about how thin it is. It's very hot. I don't know if I can taste it yet. I'm going to let this cool for just a minute before I do a taste test on it. But it, it turned out better than what I thought it was going to turn out. Okay. Let's see if we can take a little taste of it. Let's see what it tastes like. delicious but I think it needs a little bit more sugar in it. That's the only thing I would tweak on it. Was I think I would combine the powdered sugar and probably add about three more tablespoons of regular sugar. So six tablespoons of sugar in all. Either powdered regular sugar or a mixture. But if you don't like a really sweet cookie let me get it up here where you can see it. And it's a crunchy little cookie. It's pretty tasty, actually. That powdered sugar on top tastes really good on it. It's buttery. Tastes like a butter cookie. It's dry. It's not dry. It's very good. I like it. I think you'll like it. If you like those little cookie tins, those little blue tins that you can buy at the store, but those little those cookies, those little sugar cookie type things, or little shortbread cookies, you'll like this. Very buttery. Alright. 
Hope you try it. Turned out better than I thought. I didn't think the recipe was right. I really didn't. Um, there's no way you could cut these out first. You might could cut them out if you wanted to make cookie shapes before they get cool. You might could cut out the cookie shapes then. But there's no way it would have rolled out and cut before they were baked. That would have just crumbled. So anyway, I hope you try these. They're not bad. Buttery, slightly sweet, not much sugar in them at all. And you don't have to add any extra sugar. It just called for, what was it, three or four tablespoons of powdered sugar. All right. See you tomorrow. Take care. It's sleeting today. It's kind of a bad day outside today. We've got a lot of sleep. No snow yet, though. But um, count your blessings, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.